Now suppose if I ask you I have a ester. Now this ester if I add Gilman's reagent where I have alkyl group attached with copper plus 2 ion will there be any reaction? Now the base is the, 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 the parameter the, the standard compound that we consider for reactivity difference between those kind of alkyl compounds where you have negative charge on alkyl group and you have a metal ion bonded with alkyl group in that case what happens is this the reactivity decreases the reacti decre reactivity decreases drastically because the negative charge is tightly held with the metal ion because because of poor shielding of the nucleus from the outermost electron so this R- minus is very strongly bonded with a metal ion whether you have cadmium or you have copper so in that case the reactivity decreases when this reactivity decreases it is not able to react with the compounds having reactivity equal or less than carbonyl compounds now ester is much much less reactive than carbonyl compound because in carbonyl compound you have a ketone you have this this R group is giving electron to this electron deficient carbon through plus I effect through inductive effect here this oxygen will be giving electron to this electron deficient carbon through plus M effect now plus M effect is much much stronger than plus I effect this we have seen in great length before already so this ester is very very less reactive there will be no reaction in this case if we add R- minus with attached to copper plus 2 ion or for that matter if I add dialkyl cadmium R is attached with cadmium there will be no reaction now suppose if I add Grignard reagent RMGX then definitely there is going to be some reaction because this is how I mean you haven't done experiment and you have seen yourself with which reagent substrates react and which with reagent it does not but the whole beauty is without doing laboratory experiment still you are able to solve problems with conviction still you have faith in what is written in the book and what your teacher is saying and still you believe in that and you can work out problems and you can fetch good marks that is ultimately important now I'm giving you a very strong information and this you have to bear in your mind that the reactivity difference is such that if you have a D block metal ion either you have copper plus 2 or if you have cadmium plus 2 then their reactivity is such that they don't react with compounds equally or less reactive than carbonyl compounds that means if you have any electron giving atom attached to carbon then that will decrease the reactivity of this carbon because of electron donating nature and that will decrease the reactivity of whole of the compound and this dialkyl cadmium or Gilman's reagent will not react with this ester but if we add R- attached with an element of a metal of S block like magnesium then this is not going to have a strong hold on R- that metal ion is not going to have a strong hold on R- so R- is not very binded with the metal ion it is free enough to put its electron into the empty orbital of carbon or any other electron deficient atom and show reaction so definitely in case of Grignard reagent you are going to have the reaction and in great length we have already seen how the reaction of Grignard reagent is with the ester but I would like to add here if we have RLI RLI means lithium of course we know lithium will have a plus charge if lithium has a plus charge R will have a minus charge so basically you have a R minus and Li plus so in this case again we can see that lithium belongs to S block in S block you have a strong shielding of nucleus with the outermost electron so in this case uh, the attraction of the nucleus with the outermost electron or the electron outside the shell will be stronger so this R minus uh, will not be stronger because the shielding is stronger will be poor will be weak so this R- minus is not greatly attached with this Li+, plus. so this R- minus is free enough to put its electron into the, outer mush, into the empty orbital of some other atom. So this R- minus again will be much more reactive. So this R- minus in fact is more reactive than Grignard reagent because in Grignard reagent you have magnesium plus 2 ion. That plus 2 ion offers greater attraction to this R- minus. On lithium you have only plus charge and that plus charge offers less attraction to R- minus plus one charge offers less attraction to R- so this R- in 
lithium alkyl compound will be more reactive so this is what you have to bear in mind that if you have metal ion of D block less reactive metal ion of S block more reactive divalent less reactive because of greater attraction monovalent metal ion more reactive because of less attraction now let's solve a conversion problem Now here it is, a very small conversion, easy, simple, and I have eases I have made this conversion much more simpler by giving you very easily this phenol. Now the conversion is uh, like uh, and these alphabets are by no way symbols of any elements. Like this F is not fluorine, this F is some compound, organic compound that you have to identify based upon some of the given information. Now look at this. The information that is given here very strong and the key to call solve this conversion is this phenol I have given you that if you react B with oxygen subsequently adding H plus you get a phenol now you have to go back into your memory and scan all the reactions that you have studied in organic chemistry that results in formation of phenol and that will not be many of them in that reactions among those reaction then you have to zero down to the particular reaction in which you add oxygen to something followed by hydrolysis this H plus will be doing nothing but hydrolysis and that results in formation of phenol and because as such the syllabus we haven't covered much so you don't have to give much pressure into your mind to remember such reactions this reaction we have done just in the previous section we produced phenol by reaction of Grignard reagent with oxygen forming a peroxy linkage when we add H plus S2 into it that peroxy linkage hydrolysis hydrolyzes giving you a alcohol so you know how to add OH group through Grignard reagent and by seeing this this step from A to B you are adding magnesium and ether I am getting some kind of sense that you are producing Grignard reagent because Grignard reagent is produced like that when you add magnesium and ether to alkyl halide you get Grignard reagent so by looking the step from A to B I have some sense that Grignard reagent is being produced and when you add this reagent to Grignard reagent then OH group is added instead of Cl instead of uh, the, the R minus get attached to OH so you that results in formation of alcohol now the structure of phenol is this now the str in B you, uh, you are not having this OH this OH is added due to the, this reaction this reagent that you are adding so in B you will have the rest of the part except OH so this rest of the part will serve the purpose of R- in the Grignard reagent so B B the Grignard reagent of B 
must be pH minus mgx. I'm not showing charge on magnesium and x because they are stable. So this this negative charge has to be at this end where OH group is added because that is the end where the reaction occurs and that will be called as pH minus that will be a phenyl group. So I have written B as pH minus mgx because looking at the structure of phenol I'm getting this idea that if I use pH minus if I use this this negative charge here then oxygen will get added at this point forming peroxy linkage and on subsequent hydrolysis that water group will be removed off the detailed mechanism we have seen in the previous section I hope you remember this and that will result in formation of phenol so uh, this conversion is a very tiny conversion as the, as the syllabus proceeds ahead we'll do a conversion from A to Z so this is just a warm up and in this kind of conversion one step may not be sufficient or may not be clear enough to decide upon the product or decide upon the reagent you have to look around a step before a step ahead two step before two step ahead to give you the idea of what so that substrate should be so from this step A to B I got the idea it must be Grignard reagent and then I zeroed down to B now B must be pH minus mgx once we have identified B that will be very easy for us to identify A because that A must be Rx that will result in Rmgx so this Mg must not be there and this R and X must be somehow bonded in A before this Rmgx was formed so what A must be A must be PHX this X could be chlorine could be iodine could be bromine will not take fluorine because with fluorine the Grignard reagent preparation like this is not possible because the bond with fluorine is stronger with car of carbon so magnesium do not get inserted so easily and uh, compounded with the fact that F minus is not a good living group as you have Cl minus Br minus or I minus so uh, if you have fluorine here Grignard reagent will not be prepared so this X must be chlorine bromine or iodine